Good morning, happy day. I wanted to start doing a video because recently I have been online looking for um, a particular item, which I'll be doing a video about later. But um, in doing that, I found a lot of help in watching videos about those products. And so today I wanted to do a real quick video on a really awesome purse that I bought at Target. So nothing too fancy here, but it's amazing. Um, but I was like, oh, I have to go do my makeup. I don't wanna go do it. And I thought, hey, there's makeup videos. So why don't I do a makeup video? Hello, it's nothing fancy. It's really just gonna be a quick like, you know, two minute video because I don't take that very long on this beautiful face to do my makeup. Um, but I thought it would be cool. I see people do makeup videos all the time. So I thought I will do a makeup video for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, didn't introduce myself. I'm Nina and this is my channel. Um, this will be a channel maybe about doing videos about things that I want to talk about. I don't uh, want to talk about whatever, but you know, if whatever comes up, I want to talk about it. I'll do a video on it. I'll also maybe share some cool things that I acquired. I have a love for purses. I have a love for things that are pretty. Um, so yeah, I might have, you know, a couple videos about those things too. So uh, keep watching if you want to see more videos than that. But today's going to be a real quick makeup tutorial. This is my makeup bag. I actually keep more in here than I use. It opens up. I love it. It's not very clean. Sorry about that. Um, I think I bought it from Fred Meyer or Target. Um, I love because it has two separate compartments. It's small enough to fit in almost every single purse that I own. Not that I take it in all my purses. I kind of never do. Um, it has two zippers here. I think it's made from London, Soho, New York. I see people stick their hands behind stuff like this. Is that so you can read it better? I think so. Um, and then it, I don't have like a certain organizational practice to it. It's just kind of like I shove it all in. So that's, it also snaps here. So if you want to keep it shut, there's a little snap, two snaps here. And now it's safe. I'm going to open up like I was trying to make it open earlier. So, as you can see, I have nothing on. I am beautiful. Ah! Insert angelic tones. I use maybe three or four or five products. I'm not really sure, but I'll go through them real quick for you so you can see. Um, I use, I, I have an under our an dark all the time. So it could be, you know, I'm gonna start my period. That's when it gets really flat or not gonna start my period all the time. People are like, oh, you don't need makeup. Really? I look like I was beaten. And if I don't have makeup on, people are like, oh my God, you're so tired. It's like, that's because most of the time I'm wearing something here. It doesn't take me very long, but I found this product. I used to use Maybelline and they had this like yellow stick. I should have brought it here for the video, but it's like one side is yellow, one side could be green. One side is yellow or one side is like concealer color. I only ever use the yellow side. And I would just like did, 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 and then put it on. And I always had this kind of difference in complexion when I did that. So yeah, I don't remember why I started looking for something different. Maybe they were running out. I was having a hard time finding it. I'm noticing this wrinkle here. Anyway, I do use a product here for that too. Anyway, I found this online. It's literally like $3 for the whole bottle. I only, I've used this, this whole bottle all year. It's called Foera. Foera. It comes in different shades. This one is the uh, 102 Nude shade. It has this little pump thing, which to be honest with you, works sometimes and then I have one that does it. So you can unscrew it, but that's just a hot mess to do that. So I use this for here and I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is amazing. Amazing. So I use this product here for my concealer here. And then if I feel like there's like weird things going on, like I scratched myself, I use it there. Um, the next product that I use them, and I'll show you the products before I start, is L'Oreal True Match 
Um, you can see it, super blendable powder. Um, I use the warm W3 nude beige. You can buy it at the store. Um, I literally, the only thing I use this for is to cover up a little bit of the hair because I do have to set this. So right, I have to add a little bit of powder on top of this to make sure it doesn't like kind of disappear quickly all day long, all day long. So I just put a little bit of this on top. I then have on the other side of my pouch. See, I didn't, I mean, I have stuff in here like maybe like a clipper, um, this black stuff that I use sometimes for eyeliner instead of using an eyeliner pencil because those rub off. I rub my eyes a lot. Oh, I bought this cool, it's like a, like a stamp you use on your eye and maybe use it once. Okay, PH Matchmaker. I am obsessed with this. I actually ordered it online because I couldn't find any more in the stores. Um, this is my color blush. It is called Natural. Boom. I accidentally ordered a bunch of the rose, so I probably have like three of those that I'm never gonna use, but this Natural PH blush, you can see I use it. I just do, 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 and do. That's it. Maybe a little doop there. Love it. PH Natural Brush. And it comes on like a little pink. I, this is my little blush brush. It's so tiny and cute. Um, oh, and then the very last, oh, I have two more things. So the most important is this. I have tried so many different uh, mascaras. And I, my dogs are barking because people are walking around. Sorry about that. I was like, will I ever be able to do a video? Not if I have these dogs. So you might just have them like barking in the background. I hope they give them a treat. They're Dash and Violet. If you like the Incredibles, we bought them. We didn't buy them. We adopted them from a shelter. Dash was already Dash. He's very cute. He's like a corgi mixed with a yellow lab. And then there's Violet. She's like a, a white dog not little just like smaller size dog and she's adorable okay anyway back sorry dash this is um um oh my god i don't know where it's from it is is it maybelline l'oreal it's the voluminous butterfly waterproof mascara i will put the actual who makes it it's i think it's l'oreal or maybelline i'm not sure um, it is waterproof, which is a must with me. It has to be waterproof. If it's not waterproof, I will rub it all over my face. And for some, I've tried other waterproof mascaras. I have, I mean, I've spent the money to do it. Not a lot of money, but like, you know, the water, these things are not cheap. It's so annoying. Um, eight bucks for a mascara. I guess it lasts me a long time. But when you buy one and it doesn't work out, then you're like, hmm, WTF, didn't want to buy that one. So this is the one I love. I don't even really bother trying any other ones anymore because this is like the one I use. And that's pretty much it. For a while, I was kind of brushing my eyebrows up, right? Maybe I could fill in here a little bit. I mean, do I? Anyway, I recently got online and this just came in. I needed more beauty blender brushes for this piece here. And so it came in this bag, it's called Be, Key, Be A Key. And they came, um, three of them, they're all different shapes. This is the one I think I'm gonna use first. And it wasn't expensive at all, super soft. Probably like less than eight bucks or $6. I've seen them at the store. Look at this, this came in the bag. It's like a little brush, but this is the coolest thing. Watch, this is so cool, I can't even. So I was like, how do I get it out? It has this little tab here, you pull it, boom. It's a little care cover case, like a little care cover for this brush, which by the way, is the softest brush I wish you could feel. Oh my God, so soft. And it just, look at that, look at that. I just feel like I'm so professional. Look at me, look at me. When I go to, I could use this to put on my powder, look. Right? Oh my God, oh my God, Contour. Oh, I love it. I'm just like so excited about this brush. And then I'm done. So I put it back in the little case. Boom. This is amazing. This can be my blush brush. This can be my powder brush. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So now I'm showing you all my product. Oh, the last one. 
I really don't put much on my lips. When I do, I have two kids. When I do put some red or a color, they run screaming away. Oh my God. So honestly, I just use this. A little bit of a, a glimmer. So I usually have like a Q-tip that I use to apply it, but um, today I don't. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So I'm going to show you my, let's see if I can do this in two minutes. So right now the clock is about 1035. Um, that was a lot of talking. Sorry about that. You can fast forward. I should have said at the beginning, the actual tutorial starts at 1045 now. Okay, so here we go. We have, oh, I misplaced this. I was looking for this guy. And my little blender brush. So the first thing I always do are my eyes. And I just, this is a new one. So we'll see how I wanna apply it. I just squeeze a little bit up here of this stuff. On, and this is probably too much. And I just blend it underneath my eye. And I do make this face when I do it. I don't know why. I feel like maybe I'm stretching my mouth down to, to like um, stretch out my skin to make it less wrinkly maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so we have that. Do you see the other one? And then that one. Boom! I People tell me, oh, you didn't even make it. Really, bitch? I don't know if I'm not a curse on this, sorry. Really, person? I'm not a cursor. I'm just silly. Okay. And now we'll do the other side. I feel like I'm taking more time a little bit today, right now, maybe. Because I'm, it's hard to see it in my phone. I should have brought a, um, a mirror. I'm also doing this in my kitchen. Because I thought everywhere else I sat down, um, there was a window behind me. And it was hard to see. Already I feel younger. Younger! See, now I can be like, oh, I want to put some here and here and here. I don't really need it. But, and then I'm just going to kind of blend in that spot there. I want, But I don't want to take the makeup away. Okay. So now, done. I'm going to take my new little brush. I'm so excited to try this. And now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Blendable Powder in the warm W3 beige. Let's see how that works. This might be too much for my powder. I might have to go back to my little brush. Oh no, wait, I think I love it. Do you see how it just kind of mats it down? It makes it a little less shiny. It looks more natural now. And if I rub my eyes, it won't rub off. So it's just gonna make sure that whatever I put there stays. And then, I don't know why I did that. Yeah. And I could do, just rub off the extra powder on my face. I'll tell you later what I use every night. I use it not every night. If I use it every night, it, it's too much. But I use a product um, at least three times a week. And I'm telling you, my pores are so small. My skin is so bright and shinier than it used to be. And it's helping smooth, I'm just doing this because it's fun. And it's helping smooth out uh, wrinkles, I feel like, especially this one here. So, or at least preventative, because I'm not doing Botox right now. First of all, that's expensive. And once I start something that, like that, it's gonna cost money. It's gonna end up having to be forever. I mean, what do you do when you're like, it's not permanent. Okay, so this is my blush. Again, the natural pH matchmaker. And I honestly, I use it as like a eyeshadow. So you can see here, I didn't use it, here I use it. So I do have other eyeshadows I use. I have this new one I bought from, it's either MAC or Chanel. And it's literally like a, a paste almost that you put here and it is sparkly and it's pretty. Um, but this is just what I would normally wear going out the door to the grocery store or whatever and i don't know i i do a little on my this here here and there and there we go that's the blush and then and then we have this piece here so we're going to use that and then we're going to put that on here 
and um, be done other than our little lip gloss. So here is my, I will figure out what this is. And I don't know if my techniques are good. It's just the techniques I use. You can see this right in this eye. Oh my God, it's crazy. And then I do a little bit down here. Hopefully I don't squish my eyeball. There was a dog. I think it got fire truck. Shh. 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 And there we go. Maybe I'll play some music during this time. Or not. Maybe I'll just post this video the way it is and we can see how crazy it is. You know with a crazy dog. Buddy. And I kind of just mess with this until I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Or I accidentally like put black on my eye. I don't know if I did that. Which this is good for covering when you make a mistake. Boom, mistake cover corrector. See, I think there's a big difference in the before and after. Some people may disagree, whatever. So here's the last bit, the Vaseline. And I don't like to stick my finger in the tub because I think that's dirty. So give me my pick up rub. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that slam. That was me getting like a little piece of paper towel maybe to use. That's what I, the quickest thing. I'm next to my kitchen. And literally, I love it because I could just smear it all like this and it's like boom. Lip gloss. Now, I could do a color, but I'm not going to. And that's it. That's the makeup right there. I think it took a little bit longer than two minutes. I think because I was talking. But um, you see the eyes are done. Under eyes are gone. A little bit of pink for this. I'd be like, hi, people. How are you? How's it going? And um, be presentable. Now, the next part is my hair. That's a bit crazy, right? Normally it's a cute little ponytail and I do have bangs. So I thought I would show you real quick how I, and you can tell I haven't washed it in a minute. And I really was kind of thinking this would be good for this tutorial is to show you how this Batiste instant hair refresher uh, works in my hair to kind of like, do you see how this is like really, right? Okay, and then the bangs, you can't even tell where they are. Here they are. They were like in there. So give me a second, I'm gonna get my other comb. I left it here, of course, off camera. And we're just gonna brush it down. Oh my God, Nina, that looks ridiculous. I should have just cut it off after there. It looks like I'm bald, which I'm not. Okay, I got it. So this Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, I bought with a hint of color Divine Dark. So you can tell my hair is dark. So I actually bought the dark one. My biggest problem with dry shampoos is that they will I shake it. So it says to shake it and it gives you three steps to fabulous hair. Hold your hair up, spray it, run your fingers through it, and then you look like this beautiful woman here. I don't guarantee I will look like her, but I won't look like this. So this is like my quick, gotta fix my hair. So for the bangs, I do tend to just lift the bang up and do a quick spray, okay? Boom. It does have a little gray to it that will go away as I brush my hair, so don't worry. Now I do kind of want to do the rest, like some pieces here. So I'm just gonna take the bottom part of my hair, lift it up, lift it over. That is so not pretty. You think I would have like a better way? This is my first video, by the way. So there you be watching. And just spray, spray, spray. And then go to this side. Ah! I, all I did was partition it a little bit. Now with this black one, you have to be careful to not over blast yourself. I've gotten black on my face before. Like I did my bangs one time. 
in the, my car in the parking lot. And when I looked to see, I had scrunched my face up while I did it, like this. And when I unscrunched in the wrinkle, you could see where the black had not gone in the wrinkles. So it was a little bit like, oh my God, I got I noticed my look. What if I hadn't done that? So you can see there's a little gray, but not a lot. They do make this in other colors. It's a lighter brown. And then, do you see how it's kind of standing up now? Oh, look, like a snowman. Um, it's in a lighter brown, and then they have the regular, which I guess would work for a blonde person. Blonde people probably have it so easy. Although maybe this would look gray in their head too, you know, like. So now I'm just kind of over blasting, to be honest. Because my hair was really bad. I don't think I've ever done it with my hair this bad, so we'll see. Oh, it smells good. It doesn't have like an overpowering scent. I'm kind of getting like the hair that I might have missed. Okay. So now, now I take my little brush and I'm, I'm what I'm trying to do is kind of brush the product throughout the hair. Oh my God, look at that already. Remember how it looked like it was wet? Dude, it looks like I just washed it. Every time I use this out, I'm shocked. Look at this. Every time I use it, I'm shocked. Every time I could go out in the town. There's no town to go out. Well, I mean, there is a town, but we're not going out right now. This is, this is the quarantine time, which is why my hair looks like that. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh my God. Ugh. This is so, I love it. I love it so much. Now I just, I have like a, I need like hair extensions for my bangs because they're not. So usually what I do is I do like a little flu flu situation. They've gotten a little long and I need a haircut. So now I'm just styling. There we go. Let me take this down. Do you remember though? It was like straight up wet. You see, it's not like, you know, super luxurious, but it was wet before. So like, let's say I need to run to the grocery store real quick, or I need to go to, I don't want to cut this. I'm also, I tend to cut my own bangs. So do you think I should do it right now? Oh, look, that's a perfect, I think I have the scissors in here. We'll mess with those. Let's finish brushing the hair in the back just to make it look cohesive. And that's it, like look. It's just, looks so much better. And you brush it through and that's it. I'm just like annoyed with my bangs. I did bring my, my brush to maybe like do a little curly curl. I don't think that's gonna work. But look how they kind of stand out. This stuff, I don't know what's in it. It's like a baby powder maybe. I don't know what's in it. But it makes your stuff just look so cool. It stands kind of straight out. You see, that's a little long for my bang. But that's usually like I do a, a this kind of situation. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I forgot my hairspray, which is fine. I usually use the Aussie instant freeze uh, hairspray. That is my ultimate favorite. Um, Ta-da! Ta-da! Let's move this off camera. That looks so cute. Hi! And then I never wear my hair down. I'm always having it pulled back. I do. I don't know. Or a little bit up, a little bit down is what I call it. I don't know what we actually call that, but like this, or I use a claw and then I have it up here like that. Looks so dignified. Hello. I'm just a dignified lady with my hair. But today I'm just going to throw it in the ponytail. I have the bang. There you go. That was my how to make your hair look not wet like I just got out of the bathtub. How to make your under eyes and do my little makeup routine 
share that with you and um, just share my first video. So thank you. Hope you um, watch more videos. I'll try to upload some soon. And um, I think people say subscribe. So I'm going to say subscribe. Don't really know what that means. I think you hit a red button. And that means that you're like watching my videos. Watch my videos. Watch my videos. Watch my videos. Bye.